So much devastation when it comes to earthquakes that we've seen around the globe recently. I was going to say, we have, we've had the earthquakes, we've had severe weather in the south, we've had our own severe weather. Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody could just use a little break here. Yeah, also Hopefully. makes us wonder what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately, we have a yet another strong system moving our way. That's going to impact us tonight and to most of the day tomorrow. So let's go ahead and just break it all down for you. Right now, we're kind of in the zonal flow, not much happening with our temperatures. We had a little system move through earlier this morning that brought us some drizzle in our area that is now pushing south on us and temperatures are going to remain on the cool side well below average for this time of year. But this is what we're watching here. It's going to begin with this cold front. There's the associate associated low with it. And first we're going to have that cold front move through and that's when we're going to start to see some widespread moderate time heavy showers with this system. Yet again, it is going to tap into a little bit of atmospheric moisture as well. That's going to fling into our our area. So again, we are going to see the potential for some uh, flooding low lying areas, uh, poor drained areas. That is a possibility as we head into tomorrow. Yet again, I know we just don't want to hear about flooding. We're already starting to clean up, trying to get our feet back on the ground, uh, but we do have more of that to come. And I'm not expecting any major flooding out of this system. Our rainfall total is not looking as heavy as the last two systems. But again, uh, we have very saturated grounds and there's just no place for this water to go. So we do have another system moving through and then we're going to be dealing with this cold core low and that's going to set up something on its own as well. So we got the cold front that will move through and then this cold core low will start to move through. Uh, we are going to have some gusty winds with that cold front. They'll die down for a little bit and then we're going to have even stronger winds as this low pushes through the area. We are going to continue to see some rain out of this system and as that uh, cold core low pushes through we actually have the chance to see some thunderstorms with it as well. Lingering showers into Wednesday and then for the rest of the week we are going to just have this trough kind of dig into our area and that's going to just take us to temperatures below average for the rest of the week. We may see some 60s by Sunday. But other than that, we're going to be hanging out in the 50s. So partly cloudy skies today. I'm going to take you a uh, real quickly timeline as to what we're expecting for the rest of the day into tonight. So partly cloudy skies. Again, you can see that moisture that kind of caused some drizzle on us earlier this morning. That is pushing out of our area this morning. We will have a little clearing as we head into the afternoon. So a little bit of sunshine here and there. But we can expect mostly partly cloudy skies throughout the day today into this evening. And then we'll have increasing clouds ahead of that system. And here we go. We're going to see that cold front move through. That's going to bring us widespread, moderate to even heavy showers, maybe even a little dusting of snow. It is cold enough for that to happen yet again for the Santa Lucia range. And then we're just going to continue to see this rain push through our area most of the morning on Tuesday. And then you'll see here we'll actually have that low push through. That's going to push some of that moisture to the north of us and swing back around. And as it swings back around, we are going to see the potential for some thunderstorms out of this. So this is an all day event. Again, we are going to start Start off with moderate to heavy showers, widespread showers to begin with, and then we are going to see some uh, isolated showers after which as this cold core low continues to push through our area. Some of these isolated showers are going to be heavy at times, and we are going to see some very gusty winds out of it as well. As far as rainfall totals go, again, we are tapping into some of that atmospheric moisture, but that actual plume, the strongest plume, is still to the south of us, kind of hanging out in the southern portion of the state. So thankfully, it's not directed right directly toward us. So that's kind of some good news as far as our rainfall totals go. But nonetheless, the Santa Lucia range, we're going to pick up another inch to five inches of rain. Uh, we could see another two to five inches of rain in the Santa, uh, Santa Cruz Mountains. We're going to see another couple of inches around the coast, a few more inches for our interior locations. And again, we just don't have anywhere for this water to go. Our grounds are already saturated. So it's not just rain we're going to be dealing with. I think the bigger story here is certainly going to be those very strong winds we have coming our way. So today is the day to prep for this next system. I'm going to have your temperatures for you in just a little bit here.